Well, I'm going to get ready for the day shortly, so I wanted to pick up my camera and let you know what was uh, going to be up for today. We are going to go to the Dollar Tree. I want to look for a Dollar Tree haul to share with you all. So we're going to do a little Dollar Tree shop with me, or actually probably shop with us because Bill will be coming along, I'm sure, too. And then I also am planning on making this Dollar Tree Hungry Jack pancake mix for breakfast so I will share that with you all too let you know what we think of this because this is available at all the Dollar Trees around here um, on a daily basis anyways so and then I don't know I'm sure we'll get up to some other stuff too hey everybody it's Shelby with a chick plus three welcome so I hope you will come along and spend the day with us and uh, come along to the Dollar Tree and see what is new because lately they are just literally shocking me exciting me I am finding wish list items things that I didn't know that were going to be on my wish list item because I'm finding them the Dollar Tree is knocking it out of the park so let's get this show on the road what do you say let's go Lately, this product has been at my Dollar Tree all the time. It's the Hungry Jack Complete Pancake Mix. Um, I was there last night. It still is on the shelf. So at my Dollar Trees, I've been seeing it for a couple months now. Now the box is 16 ounces. So for $1.25, I'm going to do a little research to see if that is really a good deal deal or not but I wanted to be able to tell you about the quality of the product so what I do is um, it has different sizes that you can make on the back so I make the six to eight pancakes so you use one cup of mix and three quarter cups of water so it seems what I'm going to get from that is be able to make it three times okay and so this morning I made it for the second time and I got six I got four or five I got seven pancakes from it and I'm going to show you the size now two of the pancakes have already been eaten here are the other four so that makes six and then I can't go by whatever that is, the five second rule or something. This one, when I was plating it, fell on the ground. But there's a bunch of squirrels out my window, and I think they know I have a pancake for them because they're very excited. But this way, hey, the one on the ground, now I can like touch it and show you guys an up close personal look. But you see, they puffed up really nice. Um, they taste really good. So, if you see the Hungry Jack pancake mix at the Dollar Tree and you want to try out this brand, it's a good opportunity to be able to uh, try it for the Dollar Twenty-Five. And all you have to do is add water. So I really like that, that there's no adding eggs or milk or anything else. If you have this and you have water, you can make yourself some yummy pancakes. Now, the other thing I want to mention, since I have this out and we're in the kitchen, I used this wrap to cover the pancakes. So, um, it clings super well. It's the Sure Fresh Plastic Wrap. So, this is the brand from the Dollar Tree. Now, my Dollar Tree always has Glade Wrap, too, but you get fewer square feet. You get, like, half. So, I got this one. So I want to show you, it clings super well. I mean, I didn't even put this on really well, but like, see how tight you can pull it and it sticks. I mean, so I have absolutely no complaints, fabulous sticking quality. The one thing guys I want to show you about, and this is what scares me about this is so see, there's the lid and there's the plastic wrap. Well, the steel teeth that you use to cut the wrap, is right here on the bottom 
You see, I mean, those are sharp. I'm telling you, super sharp. So I store this in my drawer like this. And if you reach in, look where your fingers are, right on those sharp steel teeth. So I just wanted to point that out. Fabulous product. But with that blade on the bottom there, I don't know. I It's like no matter which direction you put the wrap in your drawer, when you reach in, I feel like your fingers are prone to getting snagged on these really sharp uh, metal teeth. So just be aware of that. Um, I don't know. Maybe some of you have like stand-up storage on the back of a uh, cupboard door for wraps like this, and then you'd be able to be grabbing it like that and not um, maybe touching those teeth. So great product for sticking um, usage, but just again, beware if you buy this and you use it, just make sure to watch out for those teeth because we don't need any trips to the ER, do we? I certainly know I don't need that. Well, we've made it to the Dollar Tree, and guys, this is one of the first Dollar Trees that opened in our county decades ago. I mean, the outside has had a facelift, but the inside pretty much looks the same. And look at this. We walked in the door, and look at all the Christmas stuff. But then, of course, besides Christmas, they have Valentine's Day decor out, too, Christmas. right at the front of the store more Christmas so it's all kind of mixed in and we'll just you know briefly look through these holiday items and see if there's anything that we haven't seen lately but um, I am excited to get more back into this store and scour it for you all I do really like these Valentine Day stickers though I do not think I have seen those yet this year anyplace else so that's a fun find more stickers. I'm so happy to see that the Dollar Tree has out a lot of Valentine Day stickers. That makes me hopeful for Easter. And the little wood heart wooden sticks. You get 20 of those. Some cute little 24 piece heart ornaments. Ooh, this is a new find. Silly Hearts Valentine Bingo. Look at that. Ooh, and they have one in a sweets theme, too. I think maybe those pictures would be the easiest for my grands. Or then one in the conversation hearts. These are really fun bingo games, and for $1.25, that is a great price because I saw something very similar at Walmart, and it was definitely over $3. And I don't think I've seen these before. Jumbo Lip Balm. Beauty Intuition. Look at these. Like lip balms, lip scrub, lip glosses, and they're all like fun food themes. Even churros, that's different and macarons oh and here is a fun little gnome he stands about 12 inches high all right and now into some easter goodies this store has it all going on <laughs> christmas valentine's day easter some really nice baskets again the dollar tree is the best place to buy your easter baskets if you want to put together a basket for somebody that's a fun paint by number set and these are nice because you get four pieces of these little bunny ear headbands and they have them in pink and blue and i love my plastic table coverings What a fun sign, a bunny on a bicycle. And I love that the shirt is in gingham. How sweet. 
Oh, and they have it with a blue and white gingham shirt, too. So pastel blues and pinks are the theme. Lots of plastic eggs are different shapes. There's crosses there. Now these are interesting. It's an egg inside of an egg. That's a little different. And some baskets that are like buckets, nice and deep. And so many color choices and prints to choose from. I think you could find something to fit anybody's taste. Now, I have to tell you, I am impressed with these. In the past, the Dollar Tree has had wooden Easter baskets, but the quality of these are superb. I mean, really nice. And they have them in round or more like this is an oval shape. Look at the color choices. And I'm telling you, the quality this year is so impressive. Not like in years past. All right, and here's some more Christmas items. We won't spend a lot of time looking at Christmas. I just wanted to show you this old Dollar Tree like keeps out its stock all the time. So if you want to do a little Christmas crafting, you can go in and find Christmas stuff. It's really kind of unusual, I think. All right, more Easter here. Oh, do I love pom-pom trim, and that's so fun to make your own garland with. And they have the bunny or the egg-shaped wreath form there. All of these fun decorative eggs and the three-piece moss bunnies are back. Those are gorgeous. I purchased some last year. Many of these items I think we've seen before. These are nice, though, because you get four in a package. It's like the eggs covered in string on a wood pick. Lots of colors to choose from. And these are absolutely beautiful. Felt and gingham with a bow, the little bunnies, and they're in pink, blue, or purple gingham. The quality looks so nice. You get six pieces. That would make a beautiful garland. And look at the pom-poms. You could use those for snowballs too. Get them now and put them away for the winter crafting next year. Foam eggs. That may be a really good way to decorate eggs this year because actual eggs are real expensive. Now, last year, these were so hard to find, and thankfully, this year, I'm finding them everywhere, the adorable beaded garlands. And these pieces here are really sweet, and you get two in the package. So you get the blue, purple, pink, or yellow. Lots of wood cutouts, and what is this? A little six-piece Easter gnome garland how adorable is that i've never seen that before i am loving it oh and they have the bottle brush trees in like a mint green uh i don't know like a kind of bluish and a pinky color very pastel very glittery Lots and lots of beautiful wire-edged ribbon, all kinds of wood cutouts to make your own ornaments, your own garlands, your own decor. So a really big variety. And then they have some of the baskets with the initials in them. Here are some of the little LED 10-piece egg lights. So a lot to pick from. And now here is St. Patrick's Day also. And look at that full box of gorgeous ribbon. 
all kinds of garlands. Oh, and here are some Christmas bottle brush trees stuck in there. Now, I have never seen this before. It says it's a ceiling decoration. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's like a plastic banner that you hang from the ceiling and then those little cutout pieces dangle down. It'd be fun if you put on a little party. I guess those Christmas trees could be used for St. Patrick's Day. They're green, silver, and gold. And, of course, some of the storage plastic, which I love at the Dollar Tree. If you want a more sophisticated Easter basket, these are perfect. And they currently have them in this gorgeous shade of gray, this blue, which I absolutely love. And they have it in black also. And some fun little fairy garden pieces here. These are the candy-themed houses. They're really sweet. And I think this is the first time I'm finding this triangular one. It looks like it was made out of graham crackers. And that one looks like a sugar cone. Really sweet. Oh, and some more Christmas items and some Halloween and autumn items and summer and Christmas together. So there you go. This Dollar Tree has it all. And look at they have the garden tools back. These were so hard to come by in my area last year. And here they are. You purchase the handle and then there's the interchangeable rake or hoe to go on it and they even have the garden tool hanger here so you could get the complete little set at the Dollar Tree. All right now this is catching my eye. Look at that eyelash case with mirror. That little case is so adorable but I guess it, you can see on the cover there it is set up to literally hold your false eyelashes if you wear them. There's a case. And if you wear contact lenses, that looks like a really good deal. And look at all the boxes of stock guys waiting to go out. Do you see that? Incredible. So exciting. All this stuff is going to be out on the shelves. And I think I spy Bill down there. I suppose I should go catch up and see where he is and what he's up to. I always find him in the food aisle, though, checking out the snacks. All right. What, oh, what can we find? This is different. Pod Skins. Extreme. They get them in all different colors. I guess they're earbuds. Ooh, and look at the orange and green, purple and pink pool noodles if you want to do some holiday crafting. And here are some more fabulous viewer friend photos. I so appreciate you sending these in to me. I love sharing them. And Bill and I will be back again tomorrow with another Dollar Tree haul. So remember our friends, until then, please be well. <laughs>